if three mirrors are placed at 60 degree angle to each other, that makes a mirror box as I am showing you right now. Let us consider a low powered laser light incident on any mirror. The laser light is supposed to reflect to the second next mirror surface and this second mirror push the light to the third mirror by the reflection and so on. And this phenomena of reflection of light is supposed to repeat over and over again into this mirror box for an infinitely long time. Today the video topic is mirror box that can literally trap the light. Would you believe if I tell you, you can trap this light into this mirror box for a long time until you open this box? I'm sure you are thinking, how is it possible to trap this light into this mirror box, right? Well, I'm Robbie here today to show you this unbelievable mirror box that can theoretically trap the light for a long time. If you are new here in my uh, home, you are most welcome for twisting the tail of science. This is the mirror box that can trap the light inside of it. Anyone can think light is not an object. How light can be trapped into a box? Stay tuned with me. I will show you this unbelievable scientific phenomena. Before that, let me show you how did I make this light trapping box. I have three square shaped mirrors and each of them are 15 square centimeter in dimension. I make an equilateral triangle. That means you maybe know every mirrors are placed at 60 degree angle to each other. And then hold the mirrors by a strong tape or any kind of glue that can hold the glass. Every corner of this box has to be perfectly sealed by reflecting coating. For example, I am using uh, aluminium foil. You can use anything else because I need a perfect reflection box. Now place another mirrors on the bottom. And finally close the box by another mirror. I have to make a small window to inject the laser beam into this mirror box and I would like to say this is injection window. Now this box is ready to show you the experiment. The very very important part of this experiment is I have to insert the light on the mirror exactly at 45 degree angle. If I make a small mistake to calculate this angle, the light would not reflect as I have planned. I am not telling you in details here, hope you can understand how did I maintain this 45 degree angle. And finally a laser beam light is inserted through this window at 45 degree angle on the mirror and let's see what's happened. I hope you know the basic of reflection. If a light beam incident on a perfect mirror surface at a certain angle, it will be reflected at the same angle. For this case, the incident angle is 45 degree and reflection angle is 45 degree as well. As a result, the reflected beam from the first mirror incident at 45 degree angle on the second mirror. And this process will repeat over and over again from second to third mirror, third to first mirror, first to second mirror and so on. Now it's time to show you what exactly happening inside of this mirror box. My lovely tiny but cute camera record the whole process. As you can see, when I turn on the laser beam, it came on this point and reflected towards the next mirror. And this mirror reflect the laser beam to the next third mirror. Similarly, third mirror will push the light onto the first mirror and this process will repeat over and over again. And this reflection process will be repeated infinitely long time. It means this laser beam is traveling through this path infinitely long time until it is going outside. That means logically you can say it is a box that can trap the light inside of it. Well, you might think why you cannot see the laser beam inside of this box. It is because you cannot see the beam inside of a vacuum. Only you can see the beam when it is interact with the surface. For that reason, you can see only the beam spot on the mirror surface. I think you all people are really brilliant and intelligent. I have few questions to you. First question, if I stop the source of this laser beam, will the beam continue its traveling into this box? What is your thinking?
if you want to discuss it please write it in the comment section of this video we will discuss it there question you can ask me in the comment section of any videos I read carefully of 